Hello. You are looking at the uh, Port Stone 3 Digital Amateur TV unit built by me, M0YDH, and uh, Ron, M0RNW, uh, for the Wolverhampton Amateur Radio Society on the occasion of its 100th anniversary. So the centenary unit's here, and uh, this is the main screen and the front panel, and uh, we'll have a look round. Okay, here's the top of the unit, and uh, we'll just peel back the, the speaker bracket. And uh, because it is a transmitter and a receiver and a lot smalls beside, it's very busy, and it needs a very big 3U box. Power supply is up here, I should say, and I'll just move around. That lot there is the filter modulator card. We'll just uh, we'll be demonstrating in a little while. The next one over here is the uh, combination of RF switches, two-way. There's an attenuator that's programmable from the front the patch panel, a four-way, and these are some of the bandpass filters. Under that lot is the Raspberry Pi, and you can see just about everything is connected as is normal on a port stand. Uh, that's the band decode switch, we'll be talking we'll talk about that in a bit later. And over here, on the left you've got the Dynatech uh, 6 into one coax switch. And uh, if I could light it better, down there the blue board is our uh, uh, changeover controller for, uh, for receive to transmit and back. Which we've uh, which we've designed, uh, and hopefully we'll see these lights change as well because they're the indications indicators for confirming which port is connected. Okay, um, the SDR, which is a line mini, is down there, and that plums in via the two-way switch over here. Uh, here's the receiver, which is a mini tune. I'll just spin around there, and. Uh, uh, RF comes in to a two-way um, relay here, which you can operate from the uh, from the thing, from the front panel. Here, a little click there, and uh, that directs the uh, the incoming RF to either the the receiver or the SDR receive port, where it can be used by the band viewer. Right, this can this lot down here, which is a bit concealed, to be fair is the up converter to bring uh, 71 and, uh, and 51 megahertz uh, receive signals into the passband of the NIM which is the the video card the video device that we use here so set from derived from satellite television but adapted by the BATC for um, uh, low signal rate uh, narrow bandwidth and low frequency TV so this is this this is uh, the the thing, and, we, and it's uh, a it it has a local oscillator at 400 megahertz and a mixer, and the rest of it is to uh, switch it into circuit and then um, tailor the local oscillator signal so it's the right amount for mixing, the right value of power for mixing. Okay, so it's broadly that. Let's quick look at the back. The six to one into one the coax switch in the centre kind of dominates. I haven't got round to labelling it yet. Never mind. And uh, it's pretty simple. There you go. We've got receive receive on the on the left of picture, and uh, transmit uh, four band transmit and transmit signalling in the centre. Okay. Bit of a demonstration. Here we are running a. PA with a noisy fan on 70 SEMS. Um, just sneak round the corner, there's a dummy loading on the power meter. And I'm just going to demonstrate what happens when we put this one into transmit because this is a club unit and uh, we don't want our members faffing about with aerial connections. We want it all to be kind of automatic like it was a black box HF transceiver uh, like some of these guys up here. Um, so if you see at the moment, port one represented by the purple LED is connected 
and uh, we are showing that the, res the receiver is in circuit at the moment and indeed we could press RX here and go to the receive program. I'm going to send a test card at H264 of DBBS2 437 MHz 333 symbols rate half FEC 1 over 2 FEC and all I have to do having selected that and connected the right aerial there's the power on um, there's the indication that it's selected a port on the on the device and indeed we are as you can see transmitting uh, let's just pause here's the received video from uh, GATA I'll just push the get the parameters on the screen and there we go so I show it's working Right, excellent. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the unit. The mem all the member has to do, the operator has to do to end the transmission is touch the touch screen. And you can see the the sequence going through there with the two flashes for the different delays. And we're back connected to uh, port one the receiver over here. This lot's in circuit now ready to use and indeed uh, that's ready to go so that's really makes it nice and easy for people to use uh, this is the bit of the port stand system that isn't there so you're on your own you've got to go make it if you wish to have uh, control of uh, receive to transmit changeover much the same as a 70, IC7300 on the shelf it does for you automatically Right, here we go, we're uh, ready to receive a, an incoming transmission from another station. Just press receive, a couple of selections to be made, and we press the player to go into search. It's found some headers and it's locked away straight away. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Simple as that. Overwhelming signal strength because the things are only 10 metres apart. There you go, as easy as that. And I haven't had to alter the antenna, it's just all sorted out automatically by our unit. So it's nice and easy for our club members to use. Brilliant. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching. I, I hope you like it. Uh, chairman thinks it's terrific, so <laughs> money well spent. I don't know what anybody else thinks. <laughs> We'll be using it from the hilltops of Wolverhampton to take part in the activity ladder. Thank you very much. Right, this is a little reception test. I've uh, switched the, the up converter in and I'm going to select 333 kilo symbols per second but 471 megahertz because I'm going to use the mixed output from the uh, back up converter so if we go to play that and see what we can find and we've got a lock straight away and you can see that it's at 471 and a bit megahertz and uh, CQ from M0YDH to G8TA okay good job let's push the screen to stop Excellent. There we are. You just saw the uh, transmitted signal popping up on the band viewer at 71 megahertz. Here's BBC Radio 2 <laughs> and lots and lots of broadcast stations. So very, very useful for seeing if the signal's there. And uh, I'll stop there. Oh, well done to J Dave G H K Q and the team for pulling this, pulling this all of this together at the BATC.